look alive. More time. We, we gotta, gotta bring, bring that, that back. back. What's up, YouTube? It's time to get lit with another NFL takeover. It's your boy G Rob. Your boy NFL DT. Back with another reaction video, baby. That intro was just cold, though. I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, man, this is to Todd McDonald, Dear Rappers. I heard he was dissing everybody and shit. Ooh. So, you know we gotta get into this, man. It's two years old, but hey, we here. We here. And Better I'm late gonna... than never. Say it again. Better late than never. Say it again. Never late is better. Okay. Some, some, some. You gotta get to the cheddar. Yeah. Ooh! Anyways, though, man, if you want to watch the original video, it'll be in the description down below. Well, no question finished. of the day. But, man, you already know what I'm going to do. Let's get to the video. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all. Talk about the days when they used to be sad. I guess I can relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe y'all can help me out, though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I just want to win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. He said he don't want to make his mouth go. Maybe he got silver. Platinum, son. No, he got a grill in his mouth. Yeah, and it maybe it's not gold. Hmm. Wait, is he being sarcastic when he just took the picture with Eminem? Or was he crying out for help? Or was he like, yeah, was he serious or was he just like, like making fun of him? I think he was crying out for help. Words help me deal with the stress. Seems to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed. Seems to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk. Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest, but. See, so, you no, know, he talking. He said Eminem helped him through what he was going through. Excuse me. I so, think that's what he's saying. So can he be staying? He can be a stand. Stand. There's a lot of stands out here. Yeah. Did Eminem create that stand? Yeah. Now, I know that's the song called Stand. Yeah, it, it came from Eminem. Yeah. It definitely came from Eminem. These days it's like you don't have nothing left. Your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check. Everything mm. is digital. I mean no disrespect, but I'm paying even more and you give me even less. Mm. Fuck. You taught me to think. You taught me to grow. You taught me to things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink. You teach me to smoke. You teach me to think. Every woman's a hoe. I don't want. He's saying rapper used to make good music. I think that's what he's saying. Like rapper used to make influential. Music, mm -hmm. but now all it is about bitches being hoes and shit, and money, and, and yeah, and getting high and shit. But is it just towards Eminem, or he's just talking about all rappers? Because he had the Eminem CD. But now. Eminem don't really. <clears throat> I don't know. You see what I'm saying? Red. Like, is he gonna bring up another CD for the next person you talking about? I got a lot of questions right now. I do. For all the time McDonald fans, y'all, yeah, y'all come with us though. Get in them comments. Let us know. Y'all know I read the comments. Tom McDonald be talking this hey, shit. Fact. I know a lot of people don't like Tom McDonald because he tried to stop their they, uh, money, basically. Yeah. But the world's so fucked up that they, he can literally, some uh, a, a fucking popular rapper can literally talk about, do this, it's going to kill you, but I think you should do this. You yeah. know how many people gonna do it? You know how many people do like Leans and Xanax because they rappers do it? You know how many people die from that shit? Yeah, a Just lot. Just because it's cool? A lot. Just because it's cool, like the rappers make it look cool, they gonna do it though. So, I ain't saying he's doing this shit for nothing, but people gonna do what they wanna do. There's <clears throat> a way that you can die, yeah. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me. Mm. Drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all this shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. 
You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day, and all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the money, you've been blinded mm. by the cars, you've been blinded by the women. Don't know who the fuck you are. Thought I knew you when I spent a hundred dollars on a ticket to your show, and now I feel like you stole my fucking money, and I'm broke. Man, he taught us how to. Shit. He talking, bro. He talking for real, though. But this is really what's going on, though. <clears throat> It's really what the fuck going on though. And rappers, a lot of rappers rap about the bullshit. He saying you. He said we stand in a we stand in a country that Donald Trump got elected. Donald Trump yeah. got elected in the U.S. Bro. The man who black, you're fired. A lot of people rap about Donald Trump though. Yeah. But then he said like you don't talk about nothing positive. You want to rap about. Drugs and shit that's killing people. Bro, it's like. But we got Donald Trump as a fucking president. It's like the new generation of rap, though, because, like, when Jeezy, T.I., you know what all, they weren't talking about doing it, they talking about how they used to sell drugs to yeah. make a living. Now you got the Lil Pumps, the Zan, Dex, all them. Fun. They low key pushing out the older rappers, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because this is what the kids, the kids run, yeah. kids run like the world now because they, they the one watching the most. Like, YouTube is run by kids, yeah. bro. Like, who do we really got now? Meek Mill. Joyner Lucas. Joyner. Tom. Eminem. We still got some, we still got some heavy hitters out here. Rookie vs. Vets. Nigga, this is not you are real. Oh, yeah. Rap and you taught us how to dress and you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress. And you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. Facts. Crazy part about it, Tom McDonald is white. I'm not saying that's crazy, but he fought with, he, like he fought with the blacks, huh? It's kind of like the Gary Owen of rap. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's speaking more about more of what's going on in the black community than black rappers are. That's sad. Sad. Shout out to Tom. Talk this shit on here. Yeah, I'm dead. It's Tom McDonald, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta say that every time yeah. we react to this shit. He cause he's supposed to say it. But y'all thought we forgot about Tom, huh? I know we you know what I'm saying? We got lives though. We have to work. Yeah. Shit, we got kids, you know what I'm saying? We can't we try to get y'all some shit every day though, bro. But we just can't every day, every day. But we back for real, for real. You can't forget about time when you gotta watch them. You like I did it yeah, time and time. Yeah, hey, they they know where you was coming from, but I did though. But that's gonna do it for this video, man. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, all, all that, that good shit. shit. Save some lives. Subscribe. It's your boy G Rob. NFL DT.